dickheads want to buy socialism. Relax, my American homies, it's not a horror story. I know that word socialism causes a slight heart attack for a lot of you. I know that S word makes you think of weird vodka drinking mustache wearing Russian guys. But in theory it's not that scary. And in real life, well, it depends on a lot of different factors. So hold your axes, pitchforks and miniguns and... Stay a while and listen. Welcome to Fancy Words Explanations. Socialism is a range of economic and social systems characterized by social ownership and workers' self-management of the means of production. Socialism appeared in a lot of forms long before it was named. It went viral somewhere in 1800s when a couple of English Hello! and French hipsters I would like to buy a handbag. wrote a reddit post where they criticized the facts of industrial revolutions such as poverty and inequality, and called upon reforms such as equal distribution of wealth. Their ideas resulted in millions of followers and likes. Charles proposed some radical stuff like equal rights. and some other also radical things. Our guy Robert also had some crazy shit to say about working conditions at the time. A lot of guys saw him as a sissy, as he publicly said. Monsieur Pierre used to hide behind walls and offer kids socialism. He was also saying shit like property theft. That brought him new followers. Marx and Engels took over from here. Influenced by French Revolution and French hipsters, they took socialism to the next level and incorporated doctrines of socialism into a new ism called Marxism. There was also this thing called communism, but that will be the topic some other time. Socialism in many forms was, and is, present in many countries around the world. It was embraced in dictatorships It's me, Mario! and democracies. In modern world, most countries are a mix between two economic systems, so the key is finding the right balance. Socialism had important part in human history as it brought major improvements at the time, especially in working conditions and equal rights. But in today's world, no country that embraced socialism to the fullest did a good job on the economy. Hunter.